welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about sa 300 examination which is microsoft file and access administrator so in this video we'll be seeing the different sections which covers sa 300 and we'll be also uh, taking a look into the demo session uh, how the exam will be and uh, finally we'll be wrapping up and I'll, I'll also be keeping few videos which will be related uh, to azure do check them out so let's jump into the video coming to se 300 you can see uh, the basic description like why this is examination is taking so the microsoft identity and access administrator designs implements and operates an organizational identity and access management system by using azure active directory so coming to se uh, 300 mostly we'll be dealing with azure active directory and how we create the rules and how we assign uh, and how we secure our uh, ad uh, which is uh, one of the part uh, for this so you can also see let's see the skills that has been tested so you can see the skills which are measured in this uh, sc300 are uh, implementing an identity management solution and uh, implementing an authentication and access uh, solution management and as well as access management for the applications implementing identity and governance strategy everything covers 25 to 30 percent whereas the access management for the application is 10 to 15 percent which is less compared to others you can also uh, there are two different ways of uh, preparation one is online which is free which you can do that and you can also go ahead with the uh, instructor led which is a paid one so you can just go to this one and you can start the course here which will be giving you the basic idea of what is uh, SC300 all about and how to implement an identity the management solution. So saying that, here we have few links where uh, let's watch uh, SC300 preparation videos. So you can see coming to here you can search for SC300. So the certification like which you are interested in let's say AZ900 or SC300 or SC, uh, SC200 so based on that you have to just search and you will be getting uh, the related videos let's go ahead with SC300 so you can see the relevant videos uh, for this SC300 the different sections that we had talked about the first second third and fourth the one which uh, covers here what is it this one so implement a, uh, implement an identity management solution which is the first one and uh, where is it so you can see so similarly you can uh, go in depth uh, by seeing these a uh, few videos just to have a proper glance so this is one way that you can move further and coming to the next link which is uh, a study guide so here we'll be having the subsections as well so if I go here, you can see uh, the skills measure that we have seen before. So this is the section and these are the sub uh, sections for this. So we'll be all covering all this uh, in the further labs. So you can see the relevant subsections for each four sections that we have seen before. So this is what it is we'll be going in depth in the further videos i just want to show you that the subsections which are having for this so if i go back here let's see the demo session how we can do that so this is how you will be prompted uh, before your examination when you take your examination and you can see here you just need to uh, click the relevant uh, country that you are in and uh, you just need to schedule your exam and you are good to go you just need to give your credentials and uh, everything is straightforward process so once you are done with that on examination day you will be prompting to this particular page so you have to just click accept if you want to read you can read though but you know we are lazy so we don't read that so we just click yes so you can go next and uh, you will be prompted to this page where uh, you can see the number of questions that we have and total time uh, that can be consumed in this examination and the final score the minimum score that you need to get in order to pass the examination so let's click next 
and you will be giving a basic introduction about uh, this format stunning and all those you can click next and once you are ready you can just click next you can go next and this is how you can uh, see the questions so you'll be having uh, like multiple choice questions you can click that so let's say I'm just clicking random questions right now so if you want to review it you can review it later if you don't know the answer or you can give the feedback if you want so I'm just some clicking random so you can all you'll be also having multiple choice you know check boxes where you have to click more than one answer so in this it's only two options so I can only click two if you click three you can see the prompt so that is how you will be getting and uh, so there will be different options here maybe there will be giving different applications let's say uh, log analytics sentinel and so on and you have to keep the relevant uh, one which is uh, apt to this particular uh, application or the software so right now I'll just keep this so you have to just add them drop down in this uh, particular section and once this is done you can go back so right now I'm just clicking randomly go next so even you will be having uh, a section where you have to uh, give the proper procedure let's say you have to create a new user so what is the procedure for that first you will click the active directory and then you'll be going to user section and uh, there you will be seeing a create user so similarly you have to add different sections like the process which is the first and which is the last process of creating a user so if you add more you will be prompted to this since i'm not reading uh, everything so that is the reason i'm just getting it so let's go ahead and let's say i don't know this answer so i'm just keeping it as review later because i don't know this answer so meanwhile you can just select some sections and let's go back and similarly you will be prompting to such questions as well let's say user one and what is his role based on the question so let's go next i'm just selecting random one sub control and you'll be also getting such questions where you have to analyze all the environment let's say for instance uh, when i was giving uh, uh a 700 i was giving the whole heart architecture so where you will be giving uh, different security uh, you know acls and security groups so you have to analyze all the environment and based on that you have to give the answer so if i click active directory you can see the different sections so you have to analyze all these sections and then answer that question even though for instance if you don't know you can uh, you can just click random just sometimes you know it it, it works out <laughs> so but make sure you have to analyze all this only then you can answer them if you don't have time then uh, you can keep uh, anything just you know you can you can get the points for that if that is correct let's go next and i'm just clicking something and let's say let's miss this and let's uh let's add one and let's go next so you can see we have uh, prompted to answers unanswered as well as for one review for instance let's say you have missed you are in very hurry and you have you, you have a very last time so if you have uh, missed any question you can see here and the one which we kept for review you can click that and you can answer that question so however we already answered it so you can just check you can read the question uh, you know clearly and you can just uh, add the relevant answer to that and once you answered it just review later just remove that and just go back so you have answered all the questions and finally is you have to just finish it so you'll be prompted whether you are sure to finish the examination let's say yes and uh, finally you are done with the examination so this is how you will be uh, proceeding in your examination and sometimes in some examinations you'll be having another section as well so make sure you read the in, uh, you know introductions and all 
so you can give the feedback for the examination so if you don't want to give the examination just click exit and yes you are done so you can see minimum score is here and my score is 100 so i have been passed because i was just clicking randomly <laughs> so this is how you have to do that this is how the uh, the demo session will be so i hope you guys have basic idea about uh, microsoft entity and how the demo will be so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video in the next videos we'll be talking in depth about uh, sc300 and the related labs thank you